Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art and I are with Mr. Hollywood, Hollywood historian Manny Pacheco. Great to see you again, Manny. We talk about everything Hollywood, don't we? Old classic films and yes. museums and stuff like that. What do you got yeah, for us but, but, but I, no, 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 no. I got a question, okay? Oh, we'll let, we'll let him. We'll let him lead off some other time. I have a real question. Look, it's uh, we don't we try not to date these things, and it could be for any time of year. But it's summertime, and a lot of people are visiting Hollywood, okay? And the pedestrians, the Hollywood sign, Grauman Chinese. They've got a new name for that now. I'm old. Uh, there are lots of things. There, there are Hollywood lots of back, back lots of things like. That's the stand itself. But you know so many things that have been forgotten by m most people about Hollywood. I'd like your take on where are the places to go that most people don't know about. Well, you know, you'd be surprised what people find interesting in Hollywood. Obviously, you did mention the go-to places, and you could have probably thrown in the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel as well, if you want yeah. to stay someplace that has a real Hollywood feel to it. And we have done an entire segment on Larry Edmonds' bookstore, so we, we know about Larry Edmonds along Hollywood Boulevard. But there are a couple of places that I do want to mention, and places that I think would surprise you, actually, uh, because they're not what you call actual buildings but they're just locales that you can visit but let's start with the well, let's start with the buildings the places you can go and i think at the top of the list obviously we have looked at the hollywood heritage museum but what about the hollywood museum the and the old max factor building oh really yeah, 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 right, that's yeah. Right. right along hollywood and highland is the old yep. max factor building mm -hmm. where Really, makeup was created, invented for the stars of the 20s and the 30s by the by the great Max Factor. And then um, the building that he housed much of his um, wares became a museum. And it's it's there today. And it's, it's a four-story museum where the bottom floor is dedicated to science fiction and horror. And they have all sorts of exhibits that you can spend an entire day there and just mm. have a great... Great, great time. In fact, uh, our, our good friend Angela Williamson did a tour of it on her Everybody with Angela Williamson on KLCS. And she had me as a guest actually giving a tour of the Hollywood Museum. It was a lot of fun. Mm. That's great. Yeah. Now, that's uh, that's not the same as the Academy Museum. No, the Academy which Museum, is, which is in the Miracle Mile down down on Wilshire. No, that's right. that's not different. Not technically yeah. downtown Hollywood, but a, a must-see, I think, too. Well, it is the Miracle Mile. It is a wonderful place to visit, and um, and there is a lot there. I'm glad you brought that up because that's brand new. That's only been around what a, a yeah. That, of what a ter what a terrific location. I mean, you're going to talk about more things that people don't know about. But it's my wife weird. and I went there. My wife and I went there, and we loved it. And they had all the yeah. they accepted the really cool acceptance speeches, and uh, it was really fun. Right where the old May Company was. So yes. very, art, very Art Deco. Yes. So yes, that's another place you can visit. But I mean, the Hollywood Museum, that is really dedicated for the cinephile who wants to see costumes and uh, running videos. And they do have a, a screening room where you can actually learn about the history of makeup through Max Factor, which is kind of fun as well. So yes. I do love that. Now, if you're really into the grave sites of Hollywood, I always recommend the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Yes. And uh, especially one of the individuals who we actually featured uh, on our on our previous uh, uh, chats, Carrie Bible, who is a tour guide there at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, where you can see many of the great actors who are buried there, including Rudolph Valentino and Tyrone Power and others. Uh, just a great place to go yep. if, if you want a real. And by the way, one thing that we never talk about is during the summer, you can go there on the weekends and they do a movie screenings, they, especially yes. the 4th of July. So yes. uh, the Hollywood Forever Cemetery is really a go to place for the Hollywood cinephile. Yeah, I mm. don't know their schedule, but I would I would recommend any time of the year, look up and see what they're doing, because. Uh, for instance, on Halloween, they have a big, right. they make a big deal out of the cemetery. Um, and I imagine that they have other programs during the year. And dare I say, they're, they're very, they're very tourist oriented. 
dare I say they're dying to have you. <laughs> uh -oh. All right. Uh, there is, of course, uh, a couple of places you can visit. I don't have the exact addresses, but you can look them up very easily. But the famous stairs that were used by Laurel and Hardy in their Academy Award winning short, The Music Box, is located yes. in Hollywood. And you can actually go visit the stairs where they carried the piano up those flights of stairs. They are still there and they are dedicated by the city of Los Angeles as a historical site. Lots of people like to go visit that stairwell. And again, I don't have the exact address, but you can Google that and find it. And, it, and, and it's a lot of fun. Same thing with the, with the exterior of the old um, uh, uh, double indemnity building, uh, the, the place where Barbara Stanwyck lived when uh, Fred McMurray goes to visit. It's in Los Feliz, California, which is a portion of Hollywood. It's kind of a bedroom community of Hollywood, but it's kind of neat to take your picture next to the actual um, 1940s style uh, Spanish home where, where Barbara Stanwyck is planning the murder of her husband. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that those are a couple of places you can visit. And of course, I, I did a thing, not with you guys, but with a, w with a number of folks, including Hollywood Heritage on the... Um, um, they they actually took the old Hollywood and uh, Cahuenga subway station, and that stop right there is the site of the old um, Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd Alley, where oh, lots of silent films uh, were created right. there, including The Kid with Charlie Chaplin mm -hmm. and uh, Cops with Buster Keaton. So yeah. yes, that's a that's a famous alley that was used many, many times. Speaking of and, Charlie Chaplin, didn't he have a studio that John and I and you, right I think, there. the three of us went there yeah. together? Right there, uh, yes. Uh, is that something that you can actually go visit these days? I, somebody well, else owns it now. The only thing left is the alley. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. So you can visit the alley. Yeah. So now, if you Andy, want, to, yeah. Do you happen to know whether the Hollywood Bowl gives tours? They don't give tours, but they do a lot of uh, Hollywood-themed festivals of sorts. They they do have um, music that is played on a given evening dedicated to uh, the classics or maybe a specific movie. Maybe yeah. they'll screen a movie where people can sing along, like Grease or The Wizard of Oz, or maybe a Rocky Horror Show, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, they are very uh, Hollywood-centric, as, as you might imagine. You know, that's yeah. a, a great place. You know, there are a couple of places, though, I do want to mention okay. that not in Hollywood, but you can still visit and get the full Hollywood experience. And one is Crystal Cove in Newport Beach. In oh, oh. Um, wonderful great, place. Yes, great place. There used to be Don the Beachcomber down there, but... Uh, the, 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 this was the Orange County site where um, where many of the early films of the of the si late silent era, early talkies, including uh, Treasure Island, was filmed down there with Lionel Barrymore, Sadie Thompson with Joan Crawford, and uh, actually more recently, Beaches, the movie with yep. Bette Midler. So yeah, that was down there. And while you're down there, you can also visit the gravesite of John Wayne, because John Wayne is buried in Orange County in, New in Newport Beach. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, that is, by the way, uh, Crystal Cove is a state park. Yes. Yeah. And um, the beach's cottage is at the end of, it's, it's, it's a wonderfully preserved summer uh, cottage neighborhood. I don't know what you would call it, a community, right. like it was 80, 100 years ago, yeah. people could build a cottage on the beach right by the water. And that beach's cottage is uh, is available to rent, by the way. Yes, yes, you can stay there yeah. and you get the and you get the full beach experience or oh. Hollywood, or Hollywood experience. It, it's yeah. your choice. How you want to how you want to stay at Crystal Cove. Of course, up in Fremont, California, you do have the Niles SNA um, Museum. Yep. And on the weekends, they they screen um, silent films. I was able to introduce them, not talk about irony, but the week before, or actually the month before uh, COVID shut down everything, I made an appearance there. And the movie that they showed 
was the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So go figure. <laughs> the end of the world <laughs> came after that with with COVID. But uh, that's a lot of fun. It, it's a museum and film preservation site of really early Hollywood. We're talking about the place where really Charlie Chaplin got his start along with Max Sennett Studios. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're talking about uh, where motion pictures were actually invented before Hollywood. So, I mean, it's it, it, Bronco Billy Anderson became the first Hollywood superstar, but he, he it, it wasn't located in Hollywood. So, right. I mean, yeah, so the, the Niles SNA up up in Fremont, California. Now, of course, Fremont, yeah. Fremont is um, south of, of the Bay Area. About how far from L.A. would you say it is? A couple of hours? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a good drive. You're probably going to yeah. if, if you go up through uh, Fresno and stuff, you're going to spend about five to six hours driving. Yeah, yeah but, but you, you know, know one, one nice thing about it, though, is that um, if you're going to bother to do that, then if you haven't been to Hearst Castle. Yeah. Yeah. On the way on the way up the coast. Uh, and that yeah. has some that has some uh, movie magic associated with it in a, a weird way. But well, the, the famous feud of William Randolph Hearst and, and yeah. Orson Welles and, of course, the making of Citizen Kane. Right. Yeah, you can't, you can't escape that with Hearst Castle. That's true. Yeah. And there's also if you want to. I'm sure there is a room dedicated at the Madonna Inn, uh, uh, dedicated to Hollywood as well. And the Madonna Inn is just this crazy hotel complex yep. where every room is different. So, so, is so uh, now I have a, I have a question for you, Manny. You've given us a, a flavor for, for many things that most of us wouldn't think of as being Hollywood themed because you just have that background and you've been to all these places. Is there any place on your website that this information is available? Or have you thought about writing a book or maybe a pamphlet, uh, the uh, uh, Pacheco's uh, Forgotten uh, Places to See While You're in Hollywood? You know, that that would be wonderful if that was my thing. I'll tell you who, who really is great at this. Hollywood historian Mary Mallory is really up on the architecture and the famous places that you can visit for Hollywood. I've written at least one book on it, yeah. At mm -hmm. least one book, and yeah. and she I think has a series of those um, those books that they they that you see everywhere about uh, different aspects of what we're talking about. So I think th this is road that has been covered. You know, one other place I want to mention too that you wouldn't think is you know Hollywood themed, but it really does have a Hollywood uh, a history to it is the Griffith Park Observatory, and oh, uh, of course. Number one, they have a, a room that's, that that's actually was uh, funded by Leonard Nimoy, oh, uh, hmm. because of course Spock. Yeah, I mean we're talking Spock here, so of course yeah. science would be something at the forefront. But if, the front has also been used in films. You might remember that uh, the, many scenes were shot in the movie Rebel Without a Cause yep. with James Dean, Natalie Wood, Sal hmm. Mineo, um, in front of the Griffith Park Observatory. Yeah. So I mean, and it's and it's a great place to go to visit as well. I mean, it's just a wonderful day out. I uh, I could be mistaken, but I think it's also featured in La La Land. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're right. It is featured in La La Land. On yeah. the bench. And, On the bench. Of which another place you can visit is downtown Angel's Flight and take a yeah. little trip up Angel's Flight. So yeah. that's like a little elevator. Uh, ride up and down the hills of Bunker Bunker Hill. A, of, of a down ventricular down. railway. A vit, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. and it's right there. Anyway, in, there in great, downtown. great uh, out of the way tourist yeah. spots. That's a, a terrific idea. Well, yeah. well I do, I, right. I do I mean, wait, as, as, as the resident vegan in uh, this group here, uh, <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not a vegan, you should visit Pink's. Yeah, oh, pink, pink hot dogs. Well, it's pink so hot dog stand. Yes, yeah. Wells visited Pink's many times. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> well, on a higher end scale, I would say go to Musso and Frank's on Hollywood oh, Boulevard. Well, of course, Musso and you, Frank's. You won't get cheap. in because it's so crowded. But but that's that a great way to kind of conclude all of this. It's, it's it been ain't cheap, cheap, but. It, it was featured in the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, but it's it's. A go-to place uh, for many, many uh, folks. As a matter of fact, um, the a famous uh, martini was created there uh, as a as a service to Douglas Fairbanks Sr. Hmm. And um, yeah, that is, it's got great history when it comes to Hollywood. Musso and Frank's absolutely great call, John. Yeah, and been featured in a number of films. 
sure. Yeah. As a location, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, there was, you know, Humphrey Bogart used to just like live there. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, it's dripping with Hollywood uh, glamour and mystique. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's right across the street from uh, Larry Edmonds, so it's not far to get to either. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, yeah. Manny, for this wonderful uh, uh, foray into places that are not so well known and worth your while to go see a whole bunch of them. As long as you're in Hollywood and you're walking on the, the, uh, the, the, the stars on the sidewalk and stepping on all your favorite uh, uh, personalities, uh, you should absolutely uh, go to some of these lesser known places because they're a real treat. So thank you, Manny, for sharing that with us. Well, it's been a nice little walk down memory lane. Thanks a lot, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.